I've already started this project a little bit and you can see this here um, let me get the light from the side so it's not so bad it's it's kind of not so easy to see on my regular thing but what I do is I have these starter beads I use they're gray and I count out you know in this case there's 42 of them and I have a real problem getting started okay um, you need to grab the right beads okay so what I do is I start with these starter beads these grays and these are all going to come back off of the project once I get going okay I completed my first round there and uh, as you notice I'm going to need to step up to the next row now the reason why I use these neutral beads is I know clearly when I step up and which beads I gotta go through are the ones I just put down alright and those gray guys it's very obvious it's not any of those so I can't get confused and accidentally step go through the wrong bead and that's what that whole thing is about and I tell you what after like false starting 10 or 15 times sometimes on one project I'm exaggerating but you can tell it seems like that many it gets very frustrating okay I finished my second row of the final piece and I've got it laid out totally flat here you notice I haven't tried to tighten it up and start making it tubular at all I'll probably do one more row and then I'll start trying to tighten this thing up and to actually get it to form a cylinder alright so we're finally starting to get our pattern going on here and uh, the I went ahead and started snugging it up too and now it's starting to form a, a tube and uh, you can see where I was talking before about 42 beads and you can have a you know six that's six by seven so I'm gonna be doing the six or you know the three and there's seven repeating themes so you can see that right there one two three four five six seven so I haven't quite gotten started yet but I did pick out the first sets of my beads okay I gotten a few steps farther along I'm done with my brown now so you can tell I pulled out way too many beads more than I needed but that's fine uh, doing my first fitting here where I slipped the beads over the lighter and see how it's going to do you can see I've already committed to an angle here uh, with that first black bead that I put right up at the top there um, I've committed to uh, going in that direction uh, you can see how each one of these will be just four beads in each pattern and it'll spiral up and to the left and uh, we'll get that farther along and let's see how she looks okay I'm moving right along here uh, worked through my palette I'm down to just the yellow and the green for my work so far I've still got you know a few more colors to go there all right we've come a bit farther now I'm getting into the uh, starting to get into the blues got all the way from the browns all the way up through the greens and to just finish off this blue green color right here now I've laid out all my blues and this purple here and I have to decide the problem I have is that yeah while these are all nice I got a color matching issue because this is what I just ended with if I jump to this it's a lot lighter closer to white than this guy is that one's a lot better the other problem that I have is it, there's an obvious difference when you look closely but from a distance there's not much to choose from between these two blue colors right here the other problem that I have is that this blue which I definitely want to use because it's a great transition to this purple over here it's very dark so there isn't any wrong answer but I don't think I want to jump from this to this and then back down I could but it will produce banding that I think might be distracting from the flow of what I'm trying to do because in this particular instance here I'm trying to flow keep pretty much the same level of saturation or how much how close is it to black or or white you know how how that color and and just shift the colors and do this kind of a spectrum look so 
my gut feeling is I don't want to use this super light blue even though I really like it and then it comes down to well if I do that those are going to be pretty close together and it's going to bulk up on the blues so I'm really looking at going from here I think I should go with this middle one and the jump down but that's still going to be a real big change that would be better so here I am saying oh I want to throw out these two blues <sighs> I hate not using colors you know because they're all so I like them all but in this case these two guys aren't really fitting with what I'm trying to get done so I'm going to go ahead and finish off with these three and uh, that will also provide more balance because the more I stay in this area the longer the distance I'm going to have into the blues in this and I don't think I need that many you know I, I, I've done some pretty quick transitions even though I used a, a cup three shades of green I got uh, really I'm, I'm into the cools now for sure away from the warmth and uh, if I drag it out I'll get to it'll it'll overbalance so that's another reason to cut down on the number of colors used all right so we finished the main central version and are totally symmetrical got that all done looks like the color choice worked out okay again I've been looking but I'm trying to find you know that transition from greens to the blues is good and then you get that sharp transition to that darker blue and the purple you just you can't get away from it you know it's uh it's noticeable but uh anyway so now the easy part's done if you will or stage one um i've got my design I'm, I'm going to want to have this centered on the piece that's an option I mean you know you can go any way you want to you could say well I want to have this down here and then I want to tell another story up top here that would be another one or you could say you know what this is my main story and then maybe I'll have a little bit of something on the edges another story if you will on each edge that links in now if you look closely I've already got the black stuff here um, ready for that linkage and the idea would be um, to have this white really ends up being kind of like you know what I'm the background for this whole piece if there was nothing here I just all I'd have is white and this is all laid over the top of it so uh, that's what I'm thinking about um, this is always like, well, the you know, once you get something in your head, executing it, that happens fast enough. But now I got to sit here and think about, well, what do I want to go from here? And my mind can very commonly launch all over the place. And uh, I think what I definitely want to do is add at least one more line of white and black, uh, and then start thinking about it but uh, I do have quite a bit of room on each side I haven't done a total bead count but uh, this will be the same count on these beads and I can go ahead and figure out from there what I'm gonna do but that central piece turned out real sharp um, I just gotta think about it some more very nice very nice indeed Okay, so uh, I've finished up all of the uh, beading portion of this project. As you can see, I started with the uh, middle section and then uh, worked outwards from there to uh, complete it. Um, it's supposed to be 32 beads in height, but this ended up to make it work right. Uh, I went a little long on the blue and it ended up being 34. It is a little bit high, uh, a little bit long, but uh, <laughs> of course when you push on it, you know, that's the problem with these things is uh, if you push on it to use it, it'll actually throw the uh, thing up top, so you do need to have a bottom 
for these uh, lighters. And uh, what I tend to use is a little piece of leather. Uh, here's here's an example of uh, some deer leather um, that my you know you can buy this stuff, but uh, or you can have a stepfather that'll send it to you. <laughs> That's always nice. So anyway, um, I want I want to have it like this with the. Uh, you know with the uh, smooth side out and the rough side in so I traced it out and then uh, I'll go ahead and clip it being careful to get the right size and everything and kinda custom fit it into there and then uh, I'll sew it in and uh, I'll get that done and that'll be the last bit okay so we've got it uh, all put together and technically it's completed in that uh, we finished all the beading and the bottom's been sewn on. Uh, you just do, you know, whip stitch. I'm trying to do this fade, I tried to do a blue fade using a lot of the different beads and it ended up making it a couple beads too tall. And really, uh, you know, yeah, it's art and everything, but when it's too tall it's not actually up against the lip and I've got a problem here at the top too if you notice I, I was able to easily thumb this over like this and uh... yeah the technical name for this is looks like shit so that's not acceptable to me and it needs to be dealt with so I thought it was all done but uh... God had other plans and I'm kind of glad because I wasn't happy with what I had and uh, he tore it up for me I put the lighter in and it ripped the uh, string broke because uh, the tension was too high and, it, and I'm kind of glad because uh, that means uh, I have to do this over so I repaired the damage I, I you know had to pull off some more beads below the rip until I got a long enough line to tie it back off and now I get to uh, do the rest of this and uh, I think what I'm gonna do is at the very least pull the pale beads off on the top and probably uh, one more line as well and uh, that'll shorten this thing back up to where it really needed to be in the first place it was too damn long it was 30 34 beads in height instead of 32 so Thanks. Okay, so I got my repairs done, and uh, you can see the symmetry is now gone. I removed two rows, really four rows from up top, and uh, shrunk it down. And so it's a little unbalanced now. You can see the bottom has more rows in this area than the top. But, uh, you know, let's just keep that secret. If we don't say nothing, nobody's going to complain. <laughs> really, uh, it don't look bad. And that's, uh, that's okay. I kind of lost, I, I, you know, it's something that you would learn for next time. I w that I'll know for next time. This is like my fourth or fifth lighter cover that I've done. You know, and the end of the day, what you really got to avoid is that top line of beads getting up above here because that removes tension on it and you know it'll just fold out and you don't want that you know before that line was all the way up you know where the getting near the top of the thing and as soon as you hit this it flipped it open and you know um, it's just poor workmanship doesn't doesn't fit <laughs> this fits we could still argue poor workmanship because of the you know poor design maybe not poor execution but poor design and that the, there's a bit of imbalance but other than that I'm fairly satisfied 